Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Mars Horizon. Normally Mars Horizon would be on a Wednesday, but I've decided to push this series through a bit faster. So that means that I'm going to be doing these series or these episodes um, several times a week, and that means that you'll see these things appearing quite a bit more on the channel. In order to keep up with the next one, make sure you're subscribed. Now we're currently working on one mission, and we have one mission open. The one that we're still working on is the Grandiose, the Mars Orbit. And I have one slot available. Tech-wise, we could do a little better. 501 research could be better. So, let's see if there's any good tech mission out there. Um, <clears throat> ideally, this one. Because it's also one of the missions that I just have to do. Uh, well, I won't be able to get to the milestone for uh, third. Or better. Um, oh, hold on. Weren't we working on... Yeah, the commsat, that's it. I need to wait two months. That'll allow me to get the commsat complete. When that is done, I might still be able to get second, potentially third, in the race to become the first one with a commercial satellite. So, right now I'm not going to do another mission. I'll just be getting a bit more cash in, a bit more research, and we're going to continue on to the next month. Commsat research complete. Good. That allows us now to start this mission up. Plan the mission. We need a payload. And that payload is the newly developed ComSat. A versatile payload capable of carrying a wide array of communications, navigation, and observation instrumentation. Considering that um, my payload reliability is quite good, I can probably afford to go a little lower and spend a bit more... Actually... Hmm. No, you know what? I'll keep it at this. So that I hope not to have to spend too much more power while doing these missions. So select that, build it. It's going to take me five months. Oh, that's quite long for a satellite. Oh well. Carry on. Research. Um, well, we're going to Mars. We're going to need a Mars lander. I just don't know if I have the right tech for it. Because my vehicles might not be able to get me to Mars. Oh well, we'll just see when the mission is actually getting... Actually, no, I can see that now, right? Uh, Mars is that way. <clears throat> Let's see, Mars lander. I would need the Mars lander, the Viking, and suggested mission vehicle. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need a lot more research in order to get there. A lot more. What about the space station? It's probably similarly terrible. But it just generates a lot of support. Not as much as Mars, but it is more science. So if I launch the space station first, I might be able to use the space station's research output to get the science that I need to get the Mars lander. Let's go for the space station. Okay, budget review. We made it to the next tier. Currently getting 263, of course, minus expenditures, so it's not quite that. But we are getting 160k each month. That's nice. Space station and research is coming along. Uh, milestone deadline in 24 months. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that exactly. Lisa is launching from Mars orbit in six months. The Grandiose is almost complete, so I hope to be able to do that before they do. There's the payload complete. 50% supplementary build cost. Okay. The payload... Right. It was going to require supplementary boosters. Which are faster to build, but more expensive to build. I'm not sure if I'm happy about this one. Now, to send this thing into space... We're not just going to be using the same rocket as we have before, because this thing is significantly heavier. It's a pretty heavy payload. Let's say I don't want to lose it. Uh, I don't want to spend too much on it either. I'd say the, the Titan II is probably my best bet. Lower stage, booster stage. Uh, Titan II, 1.4 million. 1.2 million. And launch reliability... Hmm, hold on, what's this? 
Upgrade points. Oh, this is new. This is definitely new. I haven't seen this before. That's nice. Let's say 1200. This is a million slightly over, but this cannot do it. Not without solid rocket boosters. Which would put it at 1.6. No, thank you. Uh, this can can't do it, but the Titan II can. Alright, select the part. Now, upgrades. Ah, advanced weatherproofing. Right. That's what that is. This is one of those things that I got from the research mission that I did together with the Japanese, the EVA mission. It limits the detrimental bad weather effects. I'm not really going to be using that. Not this time around. Contractor. Uh, what are we getting for this one again? It's just a bunch of cash. So the more cash I can get, the happier I'll be. I'm just not sure if there is any of these things which will... No, actually, how about doing it different? How about making this thing as cheap as possible? Minus 20%. There is no support penalty. So I can make it 1.1 million. And then I can spend a bit of time preparing for the mission to spend more... Or to, to generate more cash with it. Build that. China is launching Mars orbit next month. Okay. Well, Grandiose is still not complete. I'm complete in two months, and then I still have to schedule the launch. This is going to get tight. Japan completed the multi-crew orbit as fourth. Mars orbit vehicle is complete. Excellent. Mission training bonus reduced by 50% per month. Oof. At least the launch reliability looks good. All right, training. Uh, there is a lot of science to be had, but as we have seen, it is not very, well, profitable is not the right term. It's not very beneficial to spend too much time in training. So instead, I'll use a bit of a buff to the payload reliability and set the launch date to, well, pretty soon. Let's go for August. These guys have already completed it, I think. They're first, or they're about to become first. Set it. Next month. Not much happening. Mars orbit launch. Launch reliability, pretty good. 99%. Payload, 83. But, how's the weather? How is the weather? Weather looks good. Good conditions. Still 99%. Um, as an XCOM player, I don't like 99%. Because it means that there's still a 1% chance for this to go horribly wrong. Nevertheless, Four, let's send it up. Three, two, one. Now, I'm very much not expecting this thing to blow up. So let's skip this. And go straight to the orbital mana game. Boom, 87%. Plus one f on the first task. Very good. Plus 4%, and Delta is already maxed out. To Mars we shall go with the Mars Orbiter. What do you need me to do? I need to collect uh, navigation and thrusts. We need to generate enough thrust to get to Mars. Now this is going to generate thrust. It's going to require two data and one comms. Comms is an intermittent resource. A 50% bonus resource or bonus reward can be gotten if I get 8 and 12. Right. I have enough power. I have 8 power. That is a substantial amount. If I transmute this into two data. And I transmute this into comms. I can then use both to generate all the thrust that I need. And already one of the nav. Let's do it. That's one complete. Now the next. That one fails. Signal attenuation. Um, I only needed one, I think. So I'm accepting that I'm not getting all of it. And that one compensated. Okay, so I have more thrust. Or actually, no, I have enough thrust. I just need to figure out a way to get all the way to what I need for... What is it? Nav. 
If I can generate a bit more data, oh, sorry, no, not data, comms, and then go for this, and then go, uh, I won't have enough to do that again, but I will then have enough data and enough comms to generate enough thrust. Yeah, let's hope nothing fails, that's one. Signal attenuation did succeed this time around. That one didn't go through. Um, I'm going to resist that effect. Calculated thrusters go through. Okay, now I have what I need for nav and for thrust. Still a few turns remain to try and get the bonuses, which will require that I get um, a lot more of this. So I could spend quite a bit more like that. And then I would have one more round to get that. No, I don't think I can do that. Because I need to get one comms. Uh, I don't have any data at the moment. So I need to get a comms. I need to get data. And then I can do this. It's going to push me closer, but probably not close enough. Because I need to get another unit of thrust. And I don't think I can generate that in time. And at the same time do the other one. Maybe if I get a couple of green events. No, not like that. That's not very helpful. I can't resist it either. Okay. We're at 10 and 7. Last turn. I have no power. Um, yeah, let's complete the task. This one's not going. All right, that's the first phase. Next is the transfer trajectory. So we're going to have to wait a while in order to get to Mars. We're just transiting. In the meanwhile, we're still waiting on the space station research to come up, and we're working on the uh, Plerotos mission to get completed. Serious flaw detected. Oh, no. Uh, a 20% reduction from its current launch reliability. No. I really don't like launch reliability failures. I'd rather spend 300k than have that thing blow up. A company specializing in life celebration services has approached your agency, requesting that your upcoming commercial satellite include a small additional payload comprising of pet ashes. If accepted, I'll pay. they'll pay 500k. There is a chance that the public will react negatively to the deal? Why? I'm going to accept that. Lose 200 support? News of the agreement has been criticized in some quarters of the media, with one columnist lamenting that space travel was once the best of human endeavor. Now it's the end. No! If I have some room on my payload, sure I'm going to send out additional stuff up there. Mars Orbit is ready to go on the next phase. Let's see, what do they need me to do? Oh, sorry, this is the commercial sat launcher. Increased frequency of suboptimal launch windows. Lovely. But minus launch reliability for suboptimal launch windows. So there might be more of them, but the penalty isn't as bad. Okay, let's set this thing up. This is the commercial sat. Unfortunately, no way to get extra cash. Uh, am I the only one doing this? Yes. So I can afford to wait till May. And that would get my launch reliability, my payload reliability, very high. Do that. And we need to do the Mars orbit. Welcome back. Execute trajectory correction. Generate four comms, four nav, and three thrust. Alright. Thrust shouldn't be too hard, because they're pretty much the same requirements. If I can generate one of these... Hmm. What's the best way to do this? If I can generate one nav... I can then use nav and data to get five comms. So that's already the base requirement done. So data, nav, and then that one. Please don't... Oh, don't fail me now. Yeah, fix that. I don't want to have that event happen. That one's a lot better. We get an additional data. 
And this one just succeeds. Very good. Okay, that's what I need for the comms. Then what I need for the nav. And what I need for the nav is another two units of nav, nav data, I guess. Used to place payloads in required orbital trajectories. Uh, that would be one. And then, considering that I have enough data and I have a surplus of comms, I can also get the thrust that I need. Oh, I have unused command slots. Uh, let's charge it back up then. So power first. Then comes this one. Doppler tracking complete. Ah! Come on. Yes, I will resist that. Because uh, I still need to get those resources. Alright, we're about halfway to where I would like to be. Unfortunately, I don't really have enough power anymore. I don't have any extraneous resources either. So it's not like I can liberally spend data in order to get more thrust. I would need to get this and then... I'm not even sure if this is doable, actually. I need to get data anyway. I could take a risk and do it like that, and then use the data and the comms to generate another nav and thrust. Yeah, let's hope that this is going to go through. Power. Come on. This thing was supposed to be reliable. Resist. Thank you. Okay, I have the required amount of thrust. I don't have the required amount of comms. So that one's going to have to be a priority. But I don't think... Well, this could work. Um, hang on. So one of these is going to put me to 7, 5, and 6. I don't need to touch thrust at all. I couldn't spend it as a resource even if I wanted to. And then I still have one data left. But I don't really see a way of getting through this one. Because you can only spend data and comms on nav and thrust. I, I already have enough thrust. So I don't think that this is going to work. Nevertheless, I will run it. Just to see how high I can get this thing. Um, that would have to be three. and No, 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 no. no. Priority is getting the base objective done first. So that one. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and now you start rewarding me with extra data. Lovely. Alright, no special bonuses here, but we did get another part of the mission complete. Moving on. Budget review. We have lost a little bit of support, I'm afraid. Because I was uh, sending Pat's ashes into space and at the same time I gained some support from getting closer to Mars. Now I still only have two active missions out of the two active missions that I can have. And it's not like I can build anything else at the base to allow me to build more missions at the same time. Which is fine because I'm running up an amount of cash. So I can spend that on launching the space station eventually. There we are, we're getting closer to Mars. Space station research complete. Unlocked the outer planets. Very good. The race to Mars screen is now unlocked. Landing humans on Mars is the ultimate milestone for our agency, and achieving it first must be our primary long-term goal. Getting there will be our greatest technological challenge, and we'll need to gain plenty of mission experience over the following decades before we're ready for it. But with your leadership, we can make humanity a multiplanetary species. Next mission phase ready. Okay, Mars, here we go. Oh, sorry, we're first gonna have the, the commercial saddle launch, apparently. And we're gonna be the first one with that. This is gonna yield a massive amount of cash if we succeed. Launch reliability looks really good. Send it up. Standard launch, good. A few bonuses here. Now, what do they need me to do? And is that doable? First commercial sat. Achieve Earth orbit. Not too hard. 
Ideally, I would get a 25% bonus, and that's going to require me to get a lot, a lot of navigation data. The fastest way to do that, I think, is to use power and comms. So, one, two, three. Oh, unused command. Oh, I have four. Okay. Uh, another one then. No, actually, let's regen one power. Power gain. There we go. That's one. Course adjustment. And now... Good. Another course adjustment. Okay. Do that again. Gain comms. Then spend it on fly over course corrections. Oh. And do it again. That one succeeds. Very good. That one also succeeds. Excellent. And that one very nicely succeeds. Okay, I'm at 16 out of 20. One power. Uh, one of these. Or actually, is there another way to just generate... Yeah, there is. Pretty straightforward. Power. Uh, ping location twice and get another power in case I need to resist something. <clears throat> if this works, I get all the stuff that I need. If it doesn't... I'm in trouble. The alternative is to generate um, signal return, power, and then this one. And then I still have one power in reserve. <sighs> Let's see if it works. Please don't fail me now. Signal return test completed. Flyover adjustment completed. What else? Hey, we did it. Deploy satellite systems. That's the next task. Because now the thing is in orbit, but we're not done yet. Deploy satellite systems. We need to collect comms and data and avoid drift. Drift can only be between minus one and one. I need to generate eight and eight. Intermittent resource is nav. Let's see. This generates a lot of what I need. But it also generates a lot of drift if I want to go for external sensor alignment. If I go for uh, this one, I get a bit of the intermittent resource and I get a bit of drift. The intermittent resource I can then spend here to generate some of the data that I need. Like that. That would give me six out of four. And then the next couple of turns we're gonna be spending on generating the comms that we need. Succeeded. Ping location. Infrared mapping. Succeeded. Ping location again. Succeeded. And infrared mapping again. Succeeded. Okay, that's six out of four. Now, before I try to get this up to eight, I'm going to get this up to four. And I need to keep an eye on the drift because we need to fix that. Uh, so I'm going to have to get one of those. And then another one of those. And then, let's see, that generates this stuff. But I need to generate comms. It's only going to get me two. Huh. If I go for this one, I would first need to generate a bit of nav data. So, that one. And then uh, t -t 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 this one, that puts me at four. And I can do that again, and I can generate some power. Don't, ah, crap. Resist. Hopefully I still have the power to do the other tasks now. Yep. Very good, now I just need to generate four more data and we're done. This is the last turn though. Power, data, data, data. Even if one fails, I should be able to get the bonus reward. One done, seven, complete it. With honors. Earth orbit achieved. Bring in the money. First commercial satellite. Three and a half K, 5.20, sorry, 5.2 million actually. 
Very nice. And we now have preparations for Mars, which apparently we need quite a bit of. Now we still have that other thing to come up with. Um, right? Active missions? Yeah. First, let's set some new research. Ah, we got the Mars readiness. The higher your Mars readiness, the better your chance of successfully completing the mission. Right. New research. We're going to go right to Skylab. With the amount of research that I have, it's going to take me quite a while. Nevertheless, I want to be the first one to launch Skylab. And as for other missions that I can do... Uh, oh, first let's continue this one and see what I get out of the results. And then spend that. Here we go, we're finally making it to the red planet. Mars orbit, phase three. What do you have for me? Collect four comms, four data, and four navigation. Right, I have eight power. I have no intermittent resources. First, let's get the basics settled. Um, I'm gonna generate one of these, one of those, one of these again, and one of those. Oh, no, sorry. Um, Oh, I only have three. Right, okay. Visual spectrum mapping completed. Gyroscopic stabilization failed, but I can resist that. I still have the energy for it. And then finally, visual spectrum analyzing, and we're done. Okay, so that's four of the data that I need. Now I still need to generate some nav and some comms. I think I can just do this again. Generate data, use the data to get those, and then use another one of those. Complete it. Complete it with honors. Well, no, actually, no, that was not with honors, never mind. Uh, check. I need to get three more data and two more of the other one. I have a little bit of power left. This is one, this is two, and that is three. Nah, it's not going to quite work out. Uh, resist. That one completed. And that means that we have it with honors, with the bonus reward. Job done. We have achieved Martian orbit and we're second. A nice 140 support bonus. We have another one completed. Challenge completed. Reward, one and a half million. Very nice. Very nice. 432 for 10 months. And we have gained a bit more experience for the Mars preparations. That was a good amount of luck. And a, a decent amount of success as well. Now, with this in the pocket, this 10 million budget, I'm going to do another mission, but I'll do that in the next episode, which will be already up tomorrow. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you tomorrow for the next part of sur uh, no, not surviving Mars. <laughs> Sorry, Mars Horizon. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.